Hi, I'm Eric Hines. I want to tell you about a young man who is changing the lives of hundreds of his schoolmates simply because he believes it's the right thing to do. The dropout rate for Native Americans is high, but it's getting better every day thanks to the hard work and big heart of Dakota Kicking Bear Brown. You won't hurt their feelings if you call these kids nerds. This is a meeting of the Native Education Raising Dedicated Students, or Nerds Group, at Argonaut High School in Jackson, California, that was founded in the eighth grade by Dakota Kicking Bear Brown. Dakota, a member of the Wilton Miwok tribe, created the group when he learned that Native students have the highest dropout rates, the highest rates of teen suicides, and have over a 500% higher rate of alcohol and drug dependency than non-natives. With his success in school, his incredible drive and determination, and his love for his people, Dakota knew that he could make a difference. NERDS is a mentoring and tutoring program. Dakota recruits volunteers who actively seek out students who are falling behind or are at risk of dropping out. They work one-on-one -on -one with the students, giving them whatever help they need so they can get caught up and ready to graduate. Dakota started small with just two students, but the program has grown to 375 students at 10 chapters in both public schools and Indian tribes. He has not just impacted his world and the world of Native Americans, but he is, it's expanding to other parts of the campus. So just that as athletes have a place to connect to and band students, we want all kids to have a place to connect to. And he has really shown us that. Besides running his mentoring program and maintaining over a 4.0 academic average, Dakota was also recently appointed to the National Advisory Council on Indian Education, becoming the youngest person ever appointed to a White House advisory position directly by the President. Dakota also serves on the National Congress for the American Indians Youth Cabinet and the Center for Native American Youth's Executive Advisory Board. One of Dakota's biggest efforts on behalf of Native youth has been his battle to end the use of dictionary-defined racial slurs as team names in public schools. In California alone, there are 184 schools that still use offensive Native mascots. I promise you that this is not an illegitimate battle that we are fighting. The struggle is real, and there is data to prove it. With our sacred Native people as mascots, the younger generation, my generation, has lost our sense of identity and pride. Thanks in part to his hard work, California became the first state in the country to ban the use of racial slurs as a sports team name, logo, or mascot in schools. As the school year comes to an end, the nerds meet to celebrate. They have a lot of fun, but don't be fooled. Serious work happens here, and no one gets left behind. Since its beginning, 100% of the students who have come through Dakota's program have graduated from high school. 